model number 2 on projectile motion. A marble is thrown by Chris Gray horizontally from a tabletop to the velocity of 3.6 meters per second. The marble falls 0.70 meters away from the base. How high is the table? What is the marble's velocity just before it hits the floor? At what direction is the marble moving? Una sa lahat, gawa muna tayo ng diagram para ma-imagine natin paano ba gumalaw yung ating marble. For example, this is the table. Kasan siya na kayo sa drawing ko, ha? And from the table, tinapon ni Chris J yung marble horizontally. Ibig sabihin, horizontal ang kanyang movement. And it falls down... 0.17 meters away from the base. Alright? So, ang hinahanap natin dito for letter A is gaano ba kataas yung table from the floor. Okay? So, let us have the given. For letter A, our initial velocity in the horizontal, since horizontal ang travel ng ball natin or ng marble, that will be 3.6 meters per second. At dahil nga, horizontal siya, the VIY here will be 0 meters per second. Okay? So, full horizontal, wala siyang vertical component. The range of the base of the table from that point kung saan nalaglag yung marble is 0 0.70 meters. Okay? And we are required to find the following. We are required to find the height of the table, which is the vertical displacement. And bago natin makuha to, kailangan muna natin hanapin yung time. Hanggang malaglag yung marble dun sa floor. So, hahanapin natin si time before we get the height of the table. Our equation here will be, for the time, ha? For the time, we will use this equation, x is equal to v i x times t. So, since ang time yung hinahanap natin, divide both sides by VIX. Okay? Divided by VIX, divided by VIX. So, it will cancel. Ang matitira lang sa atin will be T is equal to X over VIX. That's the time that we can substitute. For our vertical displacement, we will be using the second equation of kinematics, that is y is equal to VIYT plus GT squared over 2. Okay, solve na natin sila. I'll just move this para makita nyo lang mas maayos. Okay, for the solution, substitute na natin to T is equal to X. Your X is 0 0.70 meters over VIX, which is 3.6 meters per second. So, divide na natin yan. Cancel letter M or cancel meters. That will be 0 0.70 is the answer is 0 0.19 seconds. This is the time that zero will be meters using, per second times the time which is now 0 0.19 seconds of the table. Okay. Substitute natin y is equal to VIYT. VIY is plus your G, which is 0 meters per second, times the time, which is 0 0.19 seconds. Ito siya. Okay? Plus your G, which is negative 9.8 meters per square second times time 0 0.19 seconds squared. Okay? Dapat naka-square yan. Over 2. Simplify natin. This will be 0 plus negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 0 0.0361 S squared over 2. Cancel natin yung S squared. That will become negative 9.8 times 0 0.0361. 0 0.35378 meters over 2. Divide them. We get 0 0.17689 or 
1.8 meters. This is the height of the table. This is our final answer. Letter B na tayo. Hinahanap dito yung velocity ng marble bago siya malaglag sa floor. Okay. So, given pa rin natin will be VIX is equal to 3.6 meters per second. At dahil horizontal yung travel ng marble natin, we can say that VIX is equal to VFX. Okay? So, VFX natin is 3.6 meters per second as well. VIY naman is still... we are required to find the final velocity ng marble. Pero bago yan, kailangan makuha muna natin si VFY. Kasi hindi natin ito masusolve nang wala tayong VFY. Kasi meron naman na tayong VFX. For the equation, dalawa yung gagamitin natin. Kunin muna natin si VFY, which is VIY plus GT. Ito yung first equation natin sa kinematics. This is for VFY and for VF, ang gagamitin naman natin dito is the equation for the resultant vector. That will be the negative square root of VFX squared plus VFY squared. Ngayon, isolve na natin sila. Okay? Kunin muna natin si VFY. So, VFY is equal to VIY which is 0 meters per second plus the g which is negative 9.8 meters per square second times the time 0.19 seconds. Simplify negative 9.8 times 0.19 we get negative Ngayon, pwede na nating isolve yung ating final velocity. V, F, V, F will be negative square root of V, F, X squared plus V, F, Y squared. Substitute negative square root of 3.6 meters per second square sa labas plus V, F, Y natin is 1.86 meters per second square din sa labas. Then, we simplify negative square root of 12.96 meters squared over second squared plus 3.4596 meters squared over second squared. Okay, adjust ko lang. Answer is 16.4196 meters Our answer is negative 4.05 meters per second. This is the final velocity of the marble as it reaches the floor. Negative? Bakit siya naging negative? Because it is going downward. So, letter C, given natin, ang halaman natin dito will be the VFY, that is negative 1.86, meters per second and your VFX which is 3.6 meters per second. We are required to find the angle on which the the angle on which the marble is moving. For us to get the theta or the angle, ang equation na gagamitin natin will be theta is equal to the inverse tan. This is inverse tan. Tan raised to negative 1. VFY over VFX. Basically, ganyan lang siya. 0.86 meters per second over VFX, which is 3.6 meters per second. Okay, you just press yung inverse tan that is shift Okay, 
Okay, that will be inverse tan. Negative 1.86 meters per second divided by negative 0. 51667. Binyan na lang muna. Kasi makakancel naman yung meters per second. Then, simplify natin to. Pindutin niya lang sa calculator yung shift tan. So, may may kita kayo dyan na button for the shift. This is shift Ang lalabas dyan is yung inverse tan na button. We will get negative 27.32 degrees. This is the angle on which... So, yun lang. Yun yung ating sample problem for project motion.